Right. Well, right now, let's get back out live to Vegas and Nick Rothschild with the incredible story of one mother who's thankful just to be alive. And now, Nick, she could have two sons playing in the NFL. Yeah, Lionel, a little while back, we introduced you to Komate Kofi, the defensive back from northern Colorado, hoping at some point this weekend to be drafted. And in case you missed that story, his mother, Agnes Pei, escaped civil war in Liberia to find refuge here in America and provide a better life for her sons. But that life wouldn't mean much if her children didn't get a chance to chase their dreams. And Komate, thanks to the sacrifices of his mother, is now on the doorstep of his. He's a fighter, you know? He don't give up easily. Did he learn that from you? He learned that from me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The children of Agnes Pei learn this lesson early. Always keep fighting. When life gets hard, fight. And never give up on your dreams. You can't give up because I didn't give up. Agnes could have given up as a child, fleeing rebels in Africa. When I started growing up, the war broke up, so they say like I was a child on the run all the time, grew up in exile from Liberia to Sierra Leone, from Sierra Leone to Guinea, from Guinea to America, you know? Or when she arrived in America. A single immigrant mother raising four kids. Oh my God, I wear many jobs. I didn't have a choice, one, one job couldn't make it. And sometimes I miss out a lot with them because I, I'm at work. I just look at her like, like, I'm grateful, you know? It's like, it's impossible for any mother to do that, but the fact that she did it is, is incredible. Her oldest son helped where he could to support his family. Komote was a happy kid, you know, friendly. He loved friends. He's an IT person. He always he quick to learn. He always out there. But eventually, it came time for Komate Kofi to chase his dreams. So my mom was like, you know, she definitely had a hard time being from 15, leaving home and just, you know, just saying I'm going to go out on my, work, on my own onto the world and I'm going to chase this dream, you know, and my brothers are looking at me like, what? I let him go. It was hard for me, so but I have to let him go because it was his dream. That also meant more missed quality time for mom. See you night, you know, I was planning like, okay, your prom night, I will be there. And his 12th grade year, I was in there. You know, it was hard for me, you know, because he's my oldest. I didn't want to miss anything, but it's life, you know. Hitting the road to play football turned into an incredible journey. From North Dakota, he went to Iowa. From Iowa, he went to New Mexico. From New Mexico, he came to Colorado. So Comote Road was not easy. I told him, I said, keep focus. You know, God got better, you know, thing for you. Physical guidance was lacking, but spiritually, Agnes looked out for her son, and Komate honored his mother. My mom is a very determined woman. Like, when she wants something, it's, it's like nothing can stop her, like no force, nothing. Like, she's going to go get it one way or another. And that's the mindset that I have. Like, I don't care what it is. I don't care what category you put me in. Like, I'm going to go get what's mine. We're all that. You never get in trouble. I never get a call one day to say, oh, your son getting, you know, arrested, or he was drunk, or he got in a fight. Without me, all the places he traveled, not one day get a complaint. In March, mom watched her baby boy audition for NFL teams on a stage she'd never seen before. Decades of struggle culminating in bliss. That makes me more proud of him because he's a fighter. He's a fighter. He didn't give up. For her to just tell me, like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm proud of you, son, it goes a long way for me. Like, it just, it makes everything easier for me. But their trek isn't over yet. One more mountain to climb. The NFL Draft. At the end of the day, whatever happens, I'm blessed. You know, like, I, God brought me here this far. He's in control. If it's meant to be, it will be. One edge that Komate has over other late round picks is his brother already plays in the league. His younger brother, Colts defensive end Quiddy Pay, was a first round pick last year. And throughout this whole process, Komate's benefited from advice about workouts, interviews, everything you can imagine. And if the, the draft goes the way that Komate hopes this weekend and he is picked up by a team, next fall, we could see something that's never happened. Quiddy and Komate playing football together, Lionel. <laughs> 
Wow, what a great story. Thanks a lot, Nick. Um, Troy, what about Comite, the former UNC Bear? What are the chances we hear his name called in the draft? And actually, what do the Broncos think of this guy? Yeah, he'd be a long shot to get drafted at this point. He projects as an undrafted free agent when I look at all the lists and talk to scouts. But that means he could get into a camp. Maybe you make a practice squad. You never know. I mean, Philip Lindsay went undrafted, so it could happen. Broncos know who he is. Anyone that works at Landau, they know who they are. And they have a need at corner, so that would be cool if they could bring him in to their practice squad to add some depth. We'll see, but I'm not going to bet against uh, Comate. What a story. No, after watching that story, there's no doubt. Never bet against him, for sure.